Yo, what it be, what it do. This is another episode of the Audio Critics. And I got a movie for you. A movie called 1917. About World War I, but the British side. Uh, let me tell you, this movie is beautiful. Like the, the look of it, uh, the way it flows. Um, I'm just going to get into to, to, um, the review part before I go into spoilers. So, entertainment. Let me tell you, it wasn't like a uh, like a Saving Private Ryan or anything like that where there's action the whole time. Like the, uh, the first part looks like a whole single shot of them, you know, getting the orders going to, um, to the other side and all that. Um, but just the stories that they would tell... It kept a, a great character development. Like it wasn't like there was wasting time just like walking and all that. that like they had the time where they were talking about stories and you find out who the people were and what, uh, how one person was compared to the other, which uh, I really, really enjoyed that. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five for entertainment. Now for longevity, the thing is, there's not many War One movies out there, so. I feel like it does have a good long uh, longevity for it because it's one of the few War One movies. Uh, and honestly, it's one of my favorite so far. I'm gonna have to see it again and see how I feel about it to be a hundred percent. Like if this is one of those movies I would watch multiple times, but I already have plans going to go see it again because I really enjoyed it. Uh, so for longevity, I'm gonna give this one also a four. Because I think, uh, I don't know how realistic it was, but I felt like it was pretty realistic. Um, so I think people enjoy it, especially like the sets and all that. It, it was it was beautiful. Now, does it fit the genre? It's a war movie. So, only thing that I feel like it wouldn't fit the genre, uh, uh, genre is how much or how little bit of war there was in it, but at the same time, war isn't one big fight. I mean, yeah, there's big fights at a time, but it's not like fight, 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 fight kind of kind of thing. So it, it fits that, but it's also drama. And I think the guy who really did a great job filming this for uh, an action drama. So it got the triple fours, another four. I'll give it for um, in the genre. Now. As you guys know, this is time that we do another level. And if we don't want to hear my terrible singing, this is where you need to stop watching the video or listening. Maybe you go and start doing something else, start cleaning or, or whatever that you need to do, maybe that you procrastinating on. My song is by Oliver Tree called Her. <laughs> I feel left out, I don't know how, my whole life can change in one week, I don't mind, my own reflection, I don't see how, you've been let down, don't speak unless you have to, why you always seem in a bad mood, your whole life you had an attitude, one day is that so bad for you, I'm sorry if I hurt you, I'm sorry if, I got, if it got that bad, I'm sorry I can help you. Somebody should have had your back. I tried, but I don't think so. Maybe it was me who was fucking up. I gave all I could, but it seems like it never really was enough. Now, time to get some spoilers. So, what I loved about this is how the movie flowed together. Because, technically it's, it's in three parts. But like the first hour, like literally it's following them from the time they wake up, to go and get the orders, to going over the other side, to uh, um, try to stay sneaky and go to this, um, to this house. Let me tell you. First hour, I was like, man, they're going to put this guy through all this shit. 
because one guy was getting, getting like he got stuck with barbed wire on the hand. It, I can just tell, like I was like, man, this guy sucks. And he had a red line, and it was like, damn rats, and he was like, damn you, why'd you have to pick me to do this assignment with you? That's how I would feel because there's a part where they're going through on the opposite on the German side, and they go into the bunker. And there's all these bags around. And there's this rat. And they should have just killed it. But what happens is the guy, right when he was walking, he realized one of the things was booby trapped. And then the rat came down with the whatever it was, food, and went to the wire and blew it up. And then everybody got blown back. I was like, oh shit. This, uh, like, that scene was pretty intense. I was like, damn, are you going to kill somebody this fast? But I knew it was because I seen the trailer. I knew. Certain scenes hasn't happened. I mean, yeah, they can always film scenes that's not going to be in the movie. I feel like the, for this movie, that would have been a waste of time and money. I also like the guy who's looking for his brother. He was also on Game of Thrones. He played uh, Tormund. Not Tormund. Tommen, Something like that. He was one of Cersei's kids. He was the one that uh, committed suicide. He jumped off after his wife got killed and all that. So... I think he did a great job. I'll, when I saw the trailers, I was like, why does this guy look so familiar to me? And then I looked at the IMDb, and I was like, oh, of course, that's why this guy looks familiar. Um, the other guy, he hasn't been in so much. I mean, he's been in a lot, but nothing like really recognizable. But I honestly liked his psychic a lot. Because he was going through the shit. And I felt bad for him. I'm like, damn, like this guy is like giving it all. I'll try to make it to the guy's brother. And so I'm watching this, and I'm like, okay, so so certain scenes, I, I'm like, okay, this part has to happen here because that looks like exactly like the trailer. So when it gets the uh, the pilot thing, and they say the German not, Nazi, and he thought that he would have been nice, and like at least like went off his other way, and the guy told him to go get water to try to help him, and the other guy was like, no, we got to put him out of his misery. And that's when he said, go get water. He goes, get water. He goes, no, 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 stop. And he stabs the other guy. I was like, oh, shit, he got stabbed. And, but I was like, okay, he's going to walk it off. But this motherfucker dies. And I'm like, oh. Like, I was not expecting that in the first hour. Like, that's when that happens. Uh, so the guy who's going for his brother dies. I thought he, it would have made it to the end. The guy's going through all the shit. going to be the one who lives. I still thought that, that was going to happen. But I thought it would have been, like, right when he gets to his brother, like, uh, platoon style pretty much like he's getting to his brother here so close and all of a sudden like right when he's getting to his brother he gets shot or something that's how I saw this this scene going on um, but overall like it was really like really enjoyable like it looked beautiful um, I like how they made it film like I feel like one like one, once it separated from the takes you I mean you can see but just how long that they filmed it and knowing that it may look like one take, well, it, it, that's just awesome that they could do that. And I wish I had that kind of talent to even think about that. Um, yeah, definitely go see this. It's definitely worth watching. It's definitely a watch for me. Uh, I can see why it wants Bone Globes. Um, I don't know. It's just, so far as I was... I know we're not that far into the, into the year, but it's my favorite movie of the year so far. Um, I think my next movie I'm going to be reviewing, major movie, is Doolittle. Uh, independent, I might be doing the original Power Rangers movie. I haven't decided just yet. Uh, let's see. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends. Uh, comment below what you, what you want me to review or uh, look for. Um, also, like in my other video, I talked about Kaylee's mom and all that. Don't forget to send your positive vibes to Kaylee and her family for a passing of her mom, sadly, at a young age. But besides that, not to leave it on a downer, but I just want to get as much positive energy out there for her through this tough time. But in, in the meantime, stay classy.